The disappearance of childhood May Day celebrations following the enclosure of his native village. Old May Day, where's thy glories gone? All fled and left thee every one. Thou comest to thy old haunts and homes unnoticed as a stranger comes. No flowers are plucked <laughs> to hail thee now, nor cotter seeks a single bough. The maids no more on thy sweet morn await their thresholds to adorn with dewy flowers. Maylocks new come, and printed feathers cattering bloom, and bluebells from the woodland moss, and cowslip cooking bald to toss above the garland swinging height, hang in the soft eaves sober light. These maid and child did yearly pull by many a folded April fool. But all is past. The merry throng of maidens hurrying along to crown at eve the earliest cow is gone and dead and silent now. The laugh lays, raised at the mocking thorn tied to the cow's tail last that morn. The kerchief at arm's length displayed, held up by pairs of swain and maid, while others bolted underneath, bawling loud with panting breath, duck under water as they ran. All's ended as they ne'er began while the new thing that took thy place wears faded smiles upon its face, and where enclosure has its birth, it spreads a mildew o'er her mirth. The herd no longer, one by one, goes flooding on her morning way, and garlands lost, and sports nigh gone, leaves her like thee, a common. Yet, summer smiles upon thee still, we nature's sweet, unaltered will, and at thy birth's unworshipped hours, fills her green lap with swarms of flowers to crown thee still, as thou hast been of spring and summer months, the queen.